Hey guys, Shabbat over here, bringing you my review and impressions of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Also, to the normal people, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. So, let's go ahead and talk about this movie a little bit. Honestly, I wasn't very excited for this movie. Um, a lot of people were. I just wasn't really into the hype for the movie as much as other people. There's other movies I was more hyped for, uh, but this one wasn't there for me. But uh, I was pleasantly surprised, and um, I can say this is actually a pretty good movie. Um, the negatives for this movie, there's not that many of them, but my very unpopular negative was I did not like Baby Groot at all. Uh, I couldn't, I just hated his character. Um, mainly because I don't like, like, just annoying children, and that's exactly what Baby Groot was, a very annoying child. And, um, yeah, he brought down a lot of the scenes he was in. Well, just because of the way he acts. Like, they could have cut things from him, but, eh, I know there's a lot of people who like Baby Groot, but me, I didn't like him. Um, but... Every other character besides, um, let's see, the only characters I really didn't, like, care that much for was actually Kurt Russell and Stallone. Um, Stallone, mainly because he didn't have much enthusiasm for his role. A lot of people would think he did. Uh, I personally didn't think he did. And the reason I wasn't that excited for Kurt Russell, well, wasn't really excited, but is the word for it, but um, I wasn't thrilled for Kurt Russell's uh, portrayal of Ego. Is He was kind of over the top. Um, but, I mean, that's a very minor nitpick for them two. It's just, they wasn't very amazing. For, uh, oh yeah, did I mention Sylvester Stallone is in this movie? Because he is, and um, I'm not exactly sure what character he plays, but he's basically like the leader of the Ravengers, I guess. I guess he's the leader of one of them. And, um, yeah, uh, he takes he has like two or three scenes in the movie. Eh, and he's in the end credits. There's your spoiler for you. It's not really a spoiler that much, except for the fact that he's in the movie. I didn't know he was until I watched. I, I seen the opening credits. like, this is Sylvester Stallone? Weird. But, yeah. He's in there. Um, let's see. The special effects from the movie is fantastic. Um, I did not have any complaints with the special effects. Um, characters for everyone besides um, Ego and Stone's guy, I enjoyed a lot. Like, every character had interactions. And I do mean, like, every character. Um... Like, I liked all of them. Uh, I guess the one with the least amount of character was um, Nebula. Oh, Nebula is... Well, she's the one with the least amount, but even she has a lot. Because, you know, you find out a lot about her backstory, but sh she doesn't interact that much with other characters, except for with Gamora. So, I gotta say... Um, I really did enjoy Batista in this movie. Like, he is the thing I liked the most about this movie. Which is sad to say, because overall, he's an awful actor. <laughs> he's awful, but um, he sells, like, he does a really good job at selling this movie. Because he does a very good job at being Drax. He's obnoxious, funny, obnoxious, and, um,. He makes it work, and I love him for it. Um, and Chris, uh, well, Star Lord is also pretty good in it. I was gonna say Chris Pratt, but uh, I want to say Star Lord because I haven't said it yet. He's pretty good. Rocket's pretty good. Out of the only like out of the main cast, the only one I actually hated was Baby Group, which is sad because well, you would think a cute, cuddly little tree monster would be my best, my favorite thing, but he's not. Alright, uh, let's talk about the story. There's no real, like, <sighs> it, it doesn't really tie very much into the Marvel Universe. 
as much as just it's a single thing like it takes place like after the first one um it's hard to explain without spoiling i'm not i'm not going to spoil anything for this movie because i i i actually like the story enough but it's not like a super deep story all you need to know is ego is the living planet and he is uh star lord's father and half of the plot involves um ego finding star lord Ta-da! Family reunion, and you know the rest of it from, starts from there. Really, the real story. But there's also a little, there's another bit of the story that actually does have importance later on. And that's with these like, I don't remember what they're called, but they're gold pompous jerk people. I don't even remember what they are, but um, they are just kind of assholes, and they just kind of uh, show up randomly and start shooting at. Uh, our main characters. That's their duty in this movie. And um, th- I guess they do exactly what they're supposed to do. So, eh. Alright, um, did I talk about the soundtrack? Uh, the soundtrack is good. It's just not as good as the first one. But I still like most of the songs. I think there's like one song that I didn't like. Uh, there's so much to actually talk about this in this movie. Because um, there's some nice easter eggs and hints at things that's hap- that is going to happen because um you know I'm going to actually say this one um the watchers appear in this movie their first appearance of the watchers and, and they're also with the cameo of Stanley who's just randomly on a like asteroid planet thing with the watchers I'm not even going to ask but um yeah they're going to definitely serve some sort of a uh, interesting purpose later on in the series. I guess Infinity War, maybe. I don't know yet. But yeah, um, I gotta say I love this movie. Um, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna give a 9 but it's a very solid 9. In fact, it kinda wants to go to a 9.5 but I don't feel like giving it a 9.5 because there's like it wasn't quite uh like super awesome but it was really good. That's why I'm giving it a nine. Like there's not enough like I can say negatively to actually say like anything lower than nine because my only complaint was characters because there's three characters that are iffy. Well, two characters kinda of iffy and one character I hate it. But overall though, I love this movie. I recommend going to check it out, and um, I'm probably going to end up picking it up on Blu-ray. Well, I'm going to pick it up on Blu-ray anyways, because I have a Marvel Blu-ray collection. You know, might as well add to the collection. Alright, so, tell me in the comments, what did you think? And, yes, I know um, a lot of this isn't, kind of like, a lot of this review is probably not going to be conveyed well, because this is not written out, it's just me recording this at 1 in the morning because I got done watching the movie. Uh, watched it earlier, but I had things to come up. Um, but yeah, um, I would like to know what you guys think about the movie. Um, do you agree with my negatives, which is basically just characters and, I guess, a little bit more lacking of a uh, soundtrack, I guess, but no, it's not really negative. Um... I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys hate it? Love it? I'm pretty sure it's going to be a love it because this movie's good. Um, but do you guys like it more than the first Guardians of the Galaxy is the real question. I kind of do. Which is why you know, I'm getting a 9. I think I gave Guardians of the Galaxy 1 like an 8.5. So I, I guess it's pretty good. Um, best Marvel thing coming out this year. That's all I can say. Not really saying much because there's not much that came up this year, but still, it's number one. Alright, that's it. Peace out.